L.A. as a slight favorite, and we have since uh, seen this get bet down all the way to a pick'em. So you had the cards off that tough loss in Houston. They battled. I think Kyler Murray looks a lot healthier and more motivated than expected. Rams off of that home win versus Seattle, which we talked about. If you bet L.A. early, you won. If you bet them late, you lost. So, of course, the closing number matters here. Closing number might matter here as well, guys. Um, Chris, I'll I'll start with you because it doesn't look like we have any teaser liability on this game. But perhaps if we get more movement off the pick them, that could become a play. I'm not going to have a play on this team or this game regardless. Uh, My number comes with the Rams slightly favored uh, without factoring in home field. The the Rams, you know, they have optimism uh, at this point. I mentioned last week if they beat Seattle, they now all of a sudden – They've got a remote chance at the playoffs. And I think the odds place it at 10% or so at this point officially. But, uh, um, you know, you got to just take it one game at a time in some way, somehow. Uh, you know, if Cup's not in, they play better without him for some reason. So uh, that's something that we're waiting to see if uh, he's going to be in the lineup or not. Uh, I don't think Arizona is uh, is all that. I, I mean, it, it I still think uh, even if Murray's playing well and Connor's in, they just don't have enough tools, but neither do the Rams. So uh, it, it should be a hard-fought match. I think it's one of these coin flip games. And uh, I'm just, I guess I'm rooting for the Rams because I took a long shot bet that they could make the playoffs. And I have under five and a half wins on, Car- on Arizona that I want to cash. So, hmm. Oh, I think you're looking good for under five and a half. Yeah, um, I think so. I I, I'm, I think they'll win four. But having said that, this is one game they can win. Yeah. Um, I make Arizona like a half point favorite. So it's like the Rams are better by a smidge in Arizona's home. I will say this again. Somebody text me if they see a, a one and a half on this game and I can tease <laughs> the other guys catching the one half up to seven and a half. The the Rams are in a spot they like to bet against a team off of a phony win. So they were done. So Seattle had them beat. Uh, maybe the Rams were going to be able to cover a teaser, but they weren't going to win this the, the game. And then Geno got hurt in the fourth quarter, and the much despised Drew Locke came in and screwed it all up and like completed two passes. I think Geno's power ra- or quarterback rating was like just under a hundred, and Locke's was three. Is that good? No. Um, so the Rams with the phony win, I could see them losing this game. So if, gun to my head, I would certainly take Arizona. A little concerned. Pay attention this time of year to teams that haven't had a bye. So Arizona's, um, they played 11 games. The Rams have only played 10. Good point. It's getting late in the year. And so you, we want to be a little careful, especially on a holiday week on a team that hasn't had a break mm. once. Um, could be some very tired bodies. Yeah, that's that, that's something to keep me off of Arizona. But I'll be honest, that's the only thing that I could really look at that didn't make me like Arizona here. Because I think it's obvious at this stage that, we might have been a little bit wrong on how bad Arizona really is. Like we were, we were heading into the year thinking, how are they going to win one game or two games? Now we're getting to four games and five games. And I think what I saw last week, or really it was two weeks ago, I was not expecting Kyler Murray to come back and look as fresh as he has. And I remember analyzing that Cardinals Falcons game and thinking to myself, We're going to look back on this game and think to ourselves, how the heck was Arizona with Kyler Murray not favored against Atlanta with Desmond Ritter? And I I just, I I think Arizona might be a little bit undervalued still. Like they deserve to be a favorite in this game. The Rams are banged up. Not only Cooper Cup, but Nakua is also banged up. Both of them are questionable for this game. And you've got Stafford. I'd like to mention uh, Cup did not practice today again. And on Steve's point, uh, he's 100% right. Here are the teams that have not had a bye, so they're tired. Baltimore, Buffalo, Chicago, the Raiders, Minnesota, the Giants, and Arizona and Washington don't get their bye until two weeks from now. So those are teams that could be uh, on fumes. I I think so. This is a theory, and Fez can disagree or agree. I'm curious your guys, both your thoughts. I think the week going into your bye, so the week before your bye, so whoever has a buy next week, that's more of a look ahead than sometimes like a real like look ahead game because you're thinking mm-hmm. about I'm off next week. Where am I going with my kids? The week before the buy, I think, is a very tricky week. Arizona has two weeks until then. But my guess is 
Here, I think Arizona wins this week, and then I think next week in week 13, the week before their bye against Pittsburgh, that's when they get their butts kicked because they're tired. Just a, just a theory. And obviously it stacks. It gets more and more disadvantageous the later those the later. buys are, and um, it really comes to fruition come week 12, week 13. Yes. Mm. I like that. <laughs>